Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to another video. And today is gonna be a really fun video. I like to call my fragrance first time. Now, this one, guys, is really, really simple. I'm gonna be naming you guys all the all my first timing events with fragrances. Like, for example, my first bottle ever, my first designer bottle, my first niche bottle, my first time getting a compliment, first time getting negative reaction, and, and all that jazz. All right, guys. So there's gonna be 10 of these first time topics that I have to answer. So with that said, let's get started with the very first one. Alright guys, the first one is my first ever fragrance bottle and this one, if you guys have been OG on my channel, you guys know this, this is Abercrombie and Finch Woods. Guys, wow. I remember like when, when I got this, um, I was at Abercrombie and Finch with one of my friends and that, that friend, he wears fragrance heavy, right? He wears fragrances every day. And like today we went to Abercrombie and Finch, um, this thing was on sale. I believe it was about to get discontinued because it was on a clearance rack and he just convinced me to buy. He was like, dude, this thing smells so you, man. This is so you right here. You have to buy it. It's on sale. Look, it's just 30 bucks. You have to get it. and. Like being me, I'm like, all right, fine, it's on sale, why not? Like I've never really worn fragrances before at the time, so I bought it, I put it on, and as you guys know what, the rest was history. <laughs> Next one is my first designer bottle. Well, obviously my first designer bottle is also Abercrombie and Finch Woods, but if you don't, if you don't want to count that one, since I already answered it, uh, my second bottle is Pineo. Next one down the list, guys, is my first ever niche bottle, and guys, this one I didn't even pay the full amount myself. My girlfriend, she decides she wants to pitch half in for me, you know, as a birthday gift and thank you to her that I have this bottle right now. And this is, guys, one of the most basic answer ever. This is Creed's Aventus. Yeah, you know it, guys. And this is probably a lot of people's first ever niche fragrance too because, you know, like when you start into fragrances, you start searching up reviews, you start watching YouTube videos, this and that, and you hear a lot about this guy right here. And come on, everyone gets curious. Is it really that good? I had to go check it out and the first time I smelled it, it was like, Mwah! oh, so, so, so good. I had to get it, right? I had to get it. It was so amazing. So guys, my first niche bottle. <laughs> Creed's Aventus. All right, next one, first memorable compliments. The reason I didn't say first compliment is because everyone's first compliment is probably like, oh no, you smell nice, you smell good, this and that, right? Not all that special. So first memorable compliments, all right guys? And that has to be the time. I was in college at the time and I had this friend, Megan. She's a really beautiful friend. Like at the time, I kind of had a little crush on her. Um, so she was getting dropped off at the dorms. I was waiting for her outside. She came over, she gave me like a hug and she like, hug me for at least like a few seconds. She was like, mmm, Timmy, you smell so good. And um, that fragrance was Pine Neo. And guys, after that, I was like, I was still new to fragrances, but after that day, I remember distinctly that I now have to wear fragrances every day. Like it's cemented in my mind that I cannot live without wearing fragrances. All right, granted, I was 17, all right? That's my, my setting, my brain setting at, at the time. I love compliments, I love girls. I was 17. I still I still love girls to this day, if you guys are wondering. Moving on to the next one, guys. First negative reaction. And this is from my very first bottle of fragrance. It's from Abercrombie and Finch Woods. And guys, I did what a lot of newbies wearing fragrances do, all right? I oversprayed. I sprayed like five or six sprays of this, which this is, if you don't know, a pretty potent fragrance, all right? So five to six sprays of this really filled up the cafeteria. I was in the cafeteria at the time, and like I can hear the people in the ne in the table next to me saying like, that guy, the guy from that other table smells so strong. I was so embarrassed. I was like extremely, extremely embarrassed at the time. So yeah, that was my first ever like really harsh negative reaction. Next we have first ever YouTube fragrance review video. So like, which, who, like who did I watch first essentially? The first video I ever watched on YouTube fragrance related was um, Jeremy Fragrance uh, Top 10 Most Complimented 2016. Like the one where I think Amani uh, Co Perfumo was at the number two, and number one was some like a toss up between Dior Sauvage and CH Man Privé. I think that those were the number one at the time. And I remember thinking like, I want all of them. I was like, man, if these get compliments, I want all of them. That's pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah. uh, now that I think back at it, oh man. Now, now I get, I, I, I totally get like how some of you guys feel when you guys just started off in fragrances. You just kind of want everything that smells good. You want to collect, have all the sexy fragrance possible. That's exactly how I felt at the time. So yeah, that was my first ever video and I got like hooked on fragrances 
right away, like even more than I already was. The next one we have first fragrance love, like first like truly heart melting love for fragrances has to go to this guy right here. And this one is Halloween man. First time I smelled this thing guys, I was like, it was the most gorgeous, most like eccentric smell I've ever put my nose to. I was like, man, this is so juicy, it's so sweet, it's so energizing, it's so me. Like I was jumping around. I like I love having fun. I love like adventuring as a kid. And like this this to me was the perfect embodiment that is me, alright? And I bought this not knowing that it was a clone of the really popular 1 million at the time. I did not know anything about 1 million at all. I bought this at like, like one of those like discounted perfume store in you know in malls and stuff. Forgot the actual name, but I wore this heavy. It's been it was my go-to scent for almost any situation guys and it's also one of my most complimented fragrances in the past like by a long shot i love i love this thing i still love the smell today too but you know i have a much deeper um knowledge of fragrances now and i appreciate a lot more variety of fragrances this one's starts to smell all not all that good to me but every time i smell it it brings back such such good memories and it will always be my first ever true love with fragrances. Next one, my first fragrance hate. I remember like when I smelled this fragrance, I hate it so, so much. Like it's, I just did not like it at all. And this fragrance is, yeah, uh, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but it's Dior Om Intense. I remember smelling Dior Intense. I was like, man, this is so lipsticky, it's so powdery. Like I did not get the hype at all. But you know, now as time progressed, I, I started to like appreciate it more for like the art and everything. But I still don't like the smell till today, all right? But in the beginning, imagine like a really novice nose smelling the Urom Intense like this close, kill me. I, like I hated that fragrance so, so much. Now, not, not so much, still hate it, not so much. But back then, horrifying. All right guys, next one is my first ever blind buy. <laughs> Which fragrance did I blind buy first? Well. Easy, this one was Asaro's Wanted. Now Asaro's Wanted, like it was, I think it was June of 2015, no, no, June 2016 when I heard news of this thing was releasing. And I was in Thailand at the time and this thing was announced, uh, released only in Europe, I believe. And it's not gonna be available in America for a while. So me being in Thailand, I saw how this bottle looks. I was like, I'm getting it. I don't care how it smells. I love the bottle. So I ordered it all the way from the UK and had it shipped to uh, my home in Alaska and I had to wait like two months to get it because I was in Thailand for vacation for about two months there So yeah, my first ever blind buy and it turns out to be one of my most favorite designer fragrances of all time. So It was a pretty happy blind buy. Alright guys last one my first guilty pleasure <laughs> with fragrance So this is a fragrance where I love the fragrance so much But the people around me don't really like it and this one is called Dab Love by the house of matriarch now i have a lot of fragrances but not like usually at least one or two people around me would like it even Lady desimaro came my girlfriend still likes it um, from a little bit of a distance away but this is one fragrance that the people around me my mom my little brother my girlfriend my friends like they don't like this fragrance they said it smells weird and stuff but I like it. I like it a lot, man. Like it's a peppery, like a powdery, peppery, like a floral kind of fragrance. I, I'll describe it like a lot later in another review in the future or something. But bottom line is, I think it's a really creative scent and I love it. I wear it sometimes, but just sad that like no one else around me likes it. I'm sure you guys have a lot of those bottles too, where you wear it for yourself and then you know that no one else around you likes it. This is just one of them. So guys, my first guilty pleasure in fragrances is House of Matriarchs, Death Love. All right guys, that's it for this video today. Thank you all for watching. And before I go, I'd like to tag two people to do this video as well. I'm gonna make this a tag. I mean like, I feel like it's a fun video to do as a tag, right? So I'm tagging Jay Royal. James from J Royal, I'm tagging you first. And the second person I'm tagging is Jensen. Ashton from Jensen. I know he just made a return, so I know that he's able to make videos again now. So those two guys, James from J Royal, Ashton from Jensen, you are tagged, my friends. And guys, if you guys don't know, those two are also members of Team Top 5. We do live streams every Sunday, so if you guys wanna check that out, the links to our new Team Top 5 channels in the description below. And lastly, Lastly, I'd like to thank all my early Patreon supporters, guys. Your name be on the screen right now. 
Thank you guys so much. And if you guys don't know, I have a Patreon page that I release exclusive contents not available on YouTube on and much, much more stuff, guys. Links to that is also in the description below or at patreon.com slash sent. And with that said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and bye. Thank <laughs> you.